Hello everybody, good day to you all. Today I am talking about Loki season number one, episode number six. For all time, always, the episode directed by um, Kate Heron. And this is the last episode of the season. And overall, I did enjoy this story. I did enjoy this episode. Because we, we finally got to see, we got Jonathan Majors as He Who Remains, a.k.a. Kang. Now, he's not Kang and the Conqueror just yet. Kang and the Conqueror is another variant of him. But we got to see Kang in this episode here, which I, didn't, which I did not think was going to happen. I didn't think that's going to happen. Because I already knew Jonathan Majors was going to play Kang in the, in the movies. So I, I didn't think that I was going to see him here. I thought it was going to be like Marvel doing another little bait and switch situation. And I didn't, I didn't want to feel like going through that. But the, the thing that we actually do see Kang here, I think Jonathan Majors did an amazing job at the performance in here right too. Explaining, explaining to you everything that's going on. Because not, not really a lot of action happening in this, in this episode here. Except for the fight scene between um, Loki and, Syl and Sylvie. So, other than that, mostly a lot of dialogue things getting explained. Um, we got to see um, Morbius probably makes the return. He, he got to see him, um, Renslayer. And she, now she's off the female's fine, I guess, free will. But most likely, she means she's probably going to find um, Kang. Hook up with him because in the comic books, they are a couple. So, we'll see, we'll see where, where that goes. We'll see, we'll see where that where goes right there, too. Also, the twist in the, in the end where, where, where Loki pretty much going to like a different version of the um of the TV, of the TV, um, TVA, or maybe not. I, I don't know. But either who, things have changed now. The, 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 the whole um multiverse is, is spring, 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 sprung out because even though. Um, Kang pretty much told them what what the deal was. Loki and Sylvie had two different opinions on what, how they should handle that. And seeing that that, 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 that dynamic between them, and like this, Loki wanting to be there for her and wanting to support her and be, be on her side and everything like that too. But at the same time, seeing the bigger picture, saying, um, maybe this, this may, be, may be the best way we should go. And then you got Sylvie on the other hand, but who've been ch chased by these people all her life, always had to fight, always just to survive, and she felt as though this is her way to, of ending the situ situation for, for good, but all it did was just lead to more craziness. Now, what happens to Sylvie after this? I, I don't know. What happens to Loki after this, now that he goes back to the, the, the other TV, um, TVA, now that Kang's in charge, and, and, and Mobius doesn't know who he is, which breaks all the friendship they, they made together, which is also kind of sad, which is sad, kind of sad between them two. And I kind of really did like their chemistry on screen, and then and now that now that, now that Mobius doesn't know who he is anymore, I think he does another analysis, 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 oh, beans. But anyway, he thinks he knows there's another person who works there. Now, see, now that, 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 that this has been changed, but, th but but see, this show right here pretty much changes, or well, it, it affects all the Marvel Universe now, going forward. I mean, maybe What If could be like a version of, of what's going on here, what this is, what if is, is sprung from that, that's where What If's come from, the whole thing with Spider-Man, No Way Home, and the whole thing with uh, Steve Strange and, and most of uh, Madness. I think it might affect Ant Man as well too. So it's it, it's pretty much changing the whole Marvel universe with this show. But it's also gonna be picked up for a, for the second season, which I'm looking forward to seeing. I'm not sure where it's gonna go from here, because if this if this show right here affects that much, what 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 the next season gonna do? Is it gonna be just another season, another episode? I mean, that's another show, or is it gonna change things in another way as, as well too? Uh, introduce things that we didn't think were ever gonna be there. I, I I don't know. Would it bring in the X Men, the Fantastic Four? Like, what's what's it, what's it gonna do? I I had no clue. But I'm looking forward to seeing that. I thought that um Tom Hiddleston always did an amazing job as Loki. Uh, uh, Jonathan Majors, he he killed he killed in his role here as the He Who Remains right here too. I even like the the girl. Who did um, Miss Miss uh, Miss Miss Minutes? Who was voiced by Tara Strong? I thought she did a great job as well too, as the, as the voice acting in, in here. The special effects on this show is top notch. It's it's it's, it's, it's done quite well. It has movie level special effects on this show, and that and that's, uh, that's beautiful to look at. That's, that's that alone. It, it's so interesting that not 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 really a lot happens this episode. Not really. I mean, other than the explanation and explaining things, but that was enough to really, really get you like hooked and excited, looking forward to the next the next season. And so, yeah. Now, the whole thing between Loki and Sylvie becoming a couple or not becoming a couple situation, that doesn't really bother me that much, really. I mean, eh, I could go either way with that. But it was still, I, I still did like their chemistry on, on, on screen. You know? I like them working, working off of off one another. I wish sometimes they didn't have, um, into the whole thing where like, Loki had to be dumb so she can be smart in a situation like, like that. Like, she's the, only one, she's the only one who can be smart and as everybody else can, cannot be. For reasons like I, I don't, I don't kind of like that too much, and I also wish they were consistent with Loki's powers because 
That's one thing about Marvel that um, always bothers me. They don't fully embrace the comic book. I don't know. I don't know. They, 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 they download the source material, and they think they think they're better than the source material because they change characters so much. They nerf a lot of characters. Like Loki been nerfed in here. The only time they actually show him, show him like showing any type of power is when um is when he when he, when he stopped that building. Other than that, they don't really show what he's fully capable of because he actually knows magic. He's actually a very skilled and highly tra trained magician. So I had no idea why they don't show it here. I don't. They don't show it on here. Uh, it'd be so much interesting to the character. I mean, so many characters get nerfed on here. I mean, the Kremlin Hulk got nerfed a lot. It's like in the comic, the strong he gets, the matter the, 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 the matter he gets, the strong he gets. That doesn't really happen in the Marvel, in MCU or Thor. They kind of trying to make him like he's not really a god, but he's uh, he just, he's just an alien that lived a long time. But the, uh, they, like, and he doesn't have, but he had magic. Like this, why take take the, take away the what makes these things so special? What we, what we love about them? I mean, I don't understand why they do that. They, they do it with so many different characters. They nerf them, or they, they 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 don't have them be who they who they fully are, which is like why? I don't get it. I mean, I'm enjoying the movies, and I'm enjoying I enjoyed the TV show right here too. But it could have been so much more seeing it's actually Loki be Loki, Loki, and actually use his powers and abilities and all stuff like that too. And then had to take it away from him when, when he goes to the TVA when he, 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 that he can't use it. Now you got to rely on other th other skills to, to get things done. That would be interesting, but well, whatever. whatever. Overall, I still didn't enjoy it. I had fun watching this whole entire this, this season right here too. Um, I, I didn't say I liked every single episode, but most of the time, most of the time, I had I had fun fun watching it. I think this thing, a, 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 the season, a, a whole great overall. I would give it a solid B. I'll give it. I'll give it a solid B. I, I think I could say Tom Hilson does an amazing job. Owen Wilson was great. I really didn't enjoy his character as as Mobius. Um, what his, his matter of fact, his chemistry with everybody was just great. Every every scene he did with somebody, I I, I, I didn't enjoy it. But I, I, I mean, I, I enjoyed his scene with Loki the most. But also his scene he had with um Gugu, I thought was, I thought was as, was great as well too. Their, their chemistry, friendship, and their chemistry like that too. Even when at the moment he had with um with Sylvie, I thought that was I was fun to watch as well too. Yeah. He's just, he's just a great character overall. And I'm glad he's going to be probably part of season number two. I want to see what he's going to do there. It's so, it's so weird that, 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 that Owen Wilson is not part of the whole Marvel Universe. That's just like, wow. Wow. And he didn't say a wow at, at all. Not one time. Ah. It would, it would, it would, it would, it would be so much fun if he did, he did, it, just, just did it once. Just did it once. At least in the season finale. Why not? But oh well. But like, like I said, overall... Great episode, great season. Looking forward to seeing where, where it goes from here. So leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this, um, this episode, final episode of Loki. Are you looking forward to season number two? Did you love this season as a whole or not? Leave your comments down below. Well, that's all I got to say about that. So give my channel a like, hit, hit the thumbs up, shut up, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate it. Also, links down below where I'm selling merch and stuff like that too. Also, you also can follow me on my other social media. And if you do buy anything or follow me anywhere, I just want to say thank you. Like I always say, in my dreams and real life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.